Welcome inside Studio 21. I'm Heidi Watney. 14 games on the schedule, so let's get right to it. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. put on a start in the Bronx, where the Orioles and Yankees finally returned to action after two straight rainouts. It was David Hess and Jay Happ in game one. Let's get to the highlights of the doubleheader at Yankee Stadium. Town Justin Verlander. The Astros pitcher returns to Comerica Park as a visitor for just the second time, following a decade plus as the Tigers' ace, winning an MVP award and a Cy Young while in Detroit. And he returns to his old stomping grounds at the top of his game. Verlander is 5-1 with an ERA under 2 in his last six starts, and his .82 whip leads all American League qualifiers this season. But it would be one of Verlander's teammates giving him early run support. Poured it on against the Braves on Tuesday, scoring 14 runs, but it was an Atlanta rookie making his debut that opened up the scoring on Wednesday, and that is where we... And then he added another one as well. In the process, becoming the youngest Blue Jay ever to hit a home run and... He did it in the same park that his dad won the 2007 Home Run Derby. But look beyond the long balls, and you'll see that Vlad Jr. has been heating up across the board. He's reached base safely in nine of his last 13 plate appearances. But it was another Blue Jay making some history of his own Wednesday when Edwin Jackson took the mound in his Toronto debut, becoming the first player ever to play for 14 different MLB teams. Record in the American League but missing one of their key pieces. Catcher Mitch Garver was placed on the injured list with a high ankle sprain. He has nine homers on the season and leads the team in batting average and OPS. A tough loss, but in Garver's absence, Jason Castro and Willens Estadio will take care of the backstop duties, hoping to help keep Twins catchers at the top of the leaderboard in home runs and OPS in MLB this season. The Twins did get a player back on Wednesday. Miguel Sano was activated after missing the first 41 games with a right heel laceration. But he was not in the starting lineup for the matinee. It is Twins and Angels as seen on. Welcome back to Quick Pitch. Before the break, we asked you which team has posted the worst run differential in the expansion era. And the answer is the 2003 Tigers, who were outscored by 337 runs en route to losing 119 games. Let's see if the Marlins added to. And I have heard it from some Phillies fans on my Twitter that they only boo people when warranted. Now, the evidence doesn't really back that up, but we'll go with it. So I guess Bruce Willis's ceremonial first pitch warranted it because he got booed by the Philly faithful. Yes, he did bounce it. And yes, he did start well in front of the mound. But come on, guys, it's a ceremonial first pitch. Does it need to be booed? Let's try some positivity. Like my girl Dorothy, she is 101 years old and a Diamondbacks super fan, and she rocked her first pitch at the Diamondbacks game. Well done, Dorothy. Well done.